following the messy wars and wrangles that have plagued the sports sector recently regarding funding, government and sports federations will sign memorandums of understanding moving forward. This will enable government demand for proper accountability and will also help determine how funds given to sports federations are used. All the laws and policy of government is always in national interest of development to achieve a target. And in this particular regard, we, 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 we noted uh, in particular that we needed to set our expectations, what you would call targets, very clear. Because we note that when we, government, when we give money as a government to the National Sports Federation, our question has been, have they been using these resources in line with the national development plan of the country? That's number one question. And the bigger answer is that not the way we expect. The system will also close hoops which have been hindering accountability demands by National Council of Sports. Under this system, government will be able to follow and determine how and where the money goes, unlike the previous setting where the money was given to federations in form of grants, making it hard to hold federations accountable. Now this has come because there was a loophole in the, in the, in the previous act, which just talks about government providing grants in the aid. And granting aid when you give without determining the relationship, how are you relating? Definitely, you will give, I give you a donation, I give you a grant. You will use that grant for the priorities on your side. So this particular MOU will align our strategies and interventions to that of national development plan of the country. With talent identification high on the list of government priorities, sports federations are now required under the new Sports Act of 2023 to spread out and wide. One of the requirements is that a federation must have a 75% presence across the country. We would want to see that allocation of resources are tagged to talent identification and development by respective federations. And that's why when you look at uh, the, the, the new law, one of the key issues that is very clear as part of a strategy and intervention for developing sports in this country require federations to have a national spread. For federations, for you to be a federation, to do a professional, amateur and professional, you must have a national spread of 75%. Some of the federations we have are in one region. You can even say they're on this one street of Kampala. Felix Manindo, NTV Sport. We are short taken and a rebound. Maroons Football Club 